For the third day in a row, we are looking at the biggest earthquakes that La Palma has produced since it began its eruption three weeks ago. With no end in sight, we may be looking at the preparation for yet another eruption on this island. And take a look at this. How much does our sun affect these volcanoes and seismic activity? I'm going to break this down for you. We have a CME on its way towards Earth, which is going to strike tomorrow. And with a few other topics we're going to throw into this video, I hope you guys are all well. We're going to break this all down right here right now here we go all right good morning my friends it is october 10th 2021 10 57 a.m and a quick happy early thanksgiving to those in canada i hope this one's a lot better as far as people being able to see their families and friends but with that said we need to talk about la palma and we need to talk about our sun very much connected and if you don't believe me there's an amazing channel out there called suspicious observers and he has a website called spaceweathernews.com and i'll tell you what ben over here explains everything you need to know and because he's so good that makes less work for me and I can kind of just explain this to you guys. So in a nutshell, what we're looking at here is a spread of southern earthquakes coming out of La Palma, clearly connected to the volcano itself. We saw this leading up to the original eruption when we had 20,000 microquakes, you can call them, leading up to bigger quakes, and then we had our eruption. Here are the grid quakes we've been talking about. Lots of different explanations about what this is, but I want you guys to focus on the southern end, and not just the southern end, but I want you to focus on the fact that over the last two and a half hours now, we've received our two biggest earthquakes that La Palma has produced. One of them being an hour and 42 minutes ago, a 4.1 that was actually registered as a 4.3. And then very shortly after, another downgrade. This was a 4.2 31 minutes ago. The fact that we're seeing this elevated seismic activity this far into the eruption is very significant. In fact, it's this southern spread that has officials and quote-unquote professionals extremely worried about continued eruptions, about stronger eruptions, and even the possibility of a second volcano eruption. Now, I'm not predicting that. I'm telling you what the officials have talked about. And just for clarification, there are multiple volcanoes on this island. If I wasn't mistaken, some of the footage coming out of just last night alone would make you think that all these volcanoes were going off. But you're looking at more homes being destroyed, more lava flows, and more activity. And this is becoming a daily theme. As we said earlier, for three days now, we've topped the previous day's earthquake size. And keep in mind, we're three weeks into the eruption and still getting bigger and bigger quakes than when we started. So at this point, you're probably asking yourself, what does this have to do with the sun? Now, I'm going to explain that using some charts that Ben provided for us showing the CME that just came off the sun that's going to hit Earth tomorrow. And these CMEs are known to have effects. They can affect radio blackouts, internet blackouts, cell phone service. Any sort of electronics on Earth can very much be affected by solar wind, solar storms, which are involved with CMEs. In other words, these giant explosions coming off the sun Sun not only affect the planets around us and in our solar system, but can directly affect Earth. That's what you're looking at now, a partial direct hit from a CME. We can watch this almost in real time from different space weather charts. Now, I'll keep that volcano video in the background for you as I read this, but this is very important. Now, this is how CMEs affect earthquakes. It goes like this. As positively charged protons from the sun crash into Earth's protective magnetic bubble, they create electromagnetic currents that propagate across the globe. Pulses created by these currents Currents could then go to deform quartz in Earth's crust, ultimately triggering earthquakes. Now, there's more to it than just that, but I felt like that's something easy for you guys to wrap your heads around. And that is the same exact effect it has on volcanoes. It can trigger magma flow or cause earthquakes that then lead to the triggering of volcanoes. So, in a nutshell, as the magnetic field of Earth is hit by solar wind traveling this fast, take a look at some of these spikes and these speeds. 320,000 kilometers a second on average here, bumping up to close to 500,000 when we have those explosions and those releases. It's almost as if an extra pressure is being put on the Earth during these solar storms. And then when you add a CME on top of it, that's when things can really get interesting. Now again, I'm not making any predictions. I'm not saying we're expecting some sort of blackouts or anything like that. I'm saying the timing of all this is very intriguing and it's already proven itself true. We've seen events with the sun and within 48 hours, which is how long that solar wind usually takes to get to Earth, we see massive earthquakes. Now, 
Now, this is just an example. Over the last two days, we've had some action going on in South America. Very much so, the southwestern or western edge of the Pacific Ocean has been on fire lately. And, of course, we cannot forget La Palma Volcano and the crazy action we've had in the northeast of the United States, which you won't see on the USGS. It does not take a lot to realize and see with your own eyes that things aren't really calming down at La Palma. It's just as important what's going on under the ground as we are seeing visually on the volcano cameras and things like that. But I'm glad I was able to bring you this information and update you on what's actually going on. I am working on another video I'll have out later on tonight or tomorrow with some very interesting stuff, including a fairly interesting sighting in Northeast Pennsylvania that I'm very excited to share with you guys. There is a preview of this in the community section a posted picture you can go check out and analyze yourself feel free and of course i want to just thank you all for taking the time out of your sunday to watch this video i hope everyone has a great rest of your weekend and a great thanksgiving up in canada shout out to canada and i'll be back later on today or tomorrow my friends take care bye bye stop right there my friends if you have not already click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed